हेलो ऑल वेलकम बैक अगेन माय नेम इज़ अंकुश अग्निहोत्री टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर एंगुलर जर्नी दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ इट इफ यू हैवन वॉच द अदर पार्ट्स आई सी एस यू टू वॉच दैट फर्स्ट लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अवर एप एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग द एंगुलर सी एल आई सो we have to be run a command ng space new space your project name and in our case since we are trying to build the angular crud application so i am using a angular crud as a application name so let's copy the command open the command prompt and enter the directory over there i want to create a application so i am entering in the desktop then i am writing my command ng space new then your application name angular crud hit enter the first thing it will ask from you is whether you want to add a routing or not routing is nothing whenever you have a application you have a multiple pages let's say whom about us contact us so the these are the multiple pages or you can say a multiple component in the angular and you have to be registered all the pages in the routing so basically angular route knows what are the route available in the application we have to be registered at later on when we reach to the session of the angular routing we will discuss that detail in that particular session for now just keep things in mind angular routing is nothing it is a file over there we have mention all our routings that is available in our application so i am choosing the option yes hit enter then it will ask from your what kind of style sheet you want to be use in your angular application whether it is a css cascade style sheet whether you want to be use the scss that is the syntax scs file then whether you want to use the sas file or whether you want to use the less style sheet files so i am using the css hit enter it will take couple of seconds to generate or download the required node packages and the files that we need to be required for the basic angular application so let's wait for a couple of seconds so that angular cli will install all the required packages and the components that we need so it's done now let's minimize this open your code editor that is the visa studio code and then go to the file open folder pick the choose the folder that we just created select folder and now you can see a bunch of file over there right first let's go to the terminal new terminal and over there just type npm start this will build your application and he is asking for the analytics just say yes or no based upon your choice so basically these are the default file or folders that angular cli create for us that is a complete angular application so the application is compiled and hosted over the url local host 4200 just click on it and you will see your angular application up and running on the port localhost 42 now our app is up and hosted over loc port 42 now let's look at the code structure or you can say the files that angular cli created for us so open your vs code you will see the first folder that angular cli created for us is the node module folder this folder contain the packages all the dependencies that needed to run your angular application it consist all your packages including your third party packages 
if you want to be install bootstrap or any angular material thing all the folders reside under this node module folder next folder is the src folder this is the source folder of your angular application it consists all your code that is available for your application reside under this src folder so under this src folder the first folder is the app folder which is named as the application folder it consists of various files that is really very important for our application so let's talk about all one by one first file is the angular routing module.ts as i told you angular we have to be register every component or you can say every menu option that is available into our application this is the file where we can define that second file is the app.component.ts this is the file where we can define our styles for our components okay angular is nothing it is a set of or you can say a building block of component it is comprises of the n number of components that all combines a one angular application so next file is the app.component.html it is the ui part of your component that you want to be show to the end user next file is the app.component.spec.ts this file is used for the testing purposes when we perform our test cases this file will be used to test your component next file is the app.component.ts file this file is the file where you have write all your logical components logical operations you can say related to your component in this file next file is the app.module.ts file this is your you can say a backbone of your application it consists all the components or modules that you are going to be create throughout the course we have to be registered all the components and the module in this file that is the app.module.ts file next folder is the assets folder it is a static folder where we store all our images icons and the other static files that we need throughout the course or you can say we the static files whether it is icon and the other stuff that you want to be show on your website next is the environment folder environment folder basically consists of the two files environment.ts and the environment.prod.ts these files will be used to configure your development and the production environment for your development you can use the environment.ts file and for your production you can use the environment.prod.ts file in this configuration file you can store the server ip addresses database configurations database connection string and other configuration specific to your application next is the favi icon that is used or you can say basically displays when we our when we run our application next is the index. HTML file. This file is the main file that is rendered over the browser. It contains the head, body, and the all the basically you can say this is the entry point of our application. It consists of the tag name as the app route, right? So is this tag a valid tag? Yes, basically this is the tag that is created when the angular cli generates the application it creates one app component for us and this app dot app route component is the selector name that we defined over our component see when we reach to the component session then we will discuss that in detail when we reach to that particular session now moving forward our next file is the main dot ts file main.ts file is the entry point for your angular application if you ever work with the programming language like java c or c++ so this is the main method of your application next file is the polyfill.ts file this file basically used for the browser related configuration in angular when you write the code using the 
transcript language the polyfile.ts file is used by the compiler to compile your transcript code to the specific javascript method so that it can be passed to the different browsers next file is the style.css file style.css file is the global style sheet file where you can define all your style for your application next file is the test.ts file we will discuss that in later in a bit let's jump to the editor.configure file this is a simple file which is used to maintain the consistency in the code editor to organize some basic functions like white spaces indentation etc next is the git ignore file this file will be used by the git if you want to be ignore some files or folder while checking in into the your source code over the git then you can use this file our next file is the angular.json file from angular 6 the angular cli.json file has been replaced by the angular.json that means if you are working with the angular 5 or any prior version of the angular with that you will not able to find this angular.json file instead you are able to find the angular dot uh, hyphen cli dot json file over there it contains the configuration such as what is your project name what is the root directory which contains all your component services directive and the pipes what is the starting point of your application in our case it is the index.chhtml file all the information will be contained in angular dot json file next the browser list src file this file is currently used by auto prefixer to adjust the css to support the specific browsers like the old browsers next we will talk about the test.js and the karma.config file dot js file these two files basically used for the testing purposes when we are going to be perform a unit test we have to rewrite all the test case and karma.config.js file uses the karma to validate that particular test files using the jasmine so our next file is package.log.json file the package.log.json file is automatically generated for those operation where npm modifies either the node module tree or the package.json file in other words the package.json is generated after an npm install we will discuss this in detail when we reach to that particular session next file is the package.json file this file is very mandatory for every npm project it contains contains basically the basic information regarding the project like the name description and the license etc the commands which will be used to run the application and also it contains the dependencies it also contains the command that we use to run our application like the npm start that we just perform it and the ng serve and the other commands next is the readme.md file this file basically consists all your information related stuff to your project or what you want to be deliver in particular project you can mention it over here next file is the tsconfig.app.json file this file is used during the compilation of your application and it contains the configuration information about how your application should be compiled next file is the tsconfig.json file this file contains the configuration for your typescript if there is a tsconfig file in your directory that means that directory is the root directory of your typescript project moreover it is also used to define the different typescript compilation related options and the next file is the tsconfig.spec.json this file is used for the testing purposes in the node.js environment it also help in maintaining the details for the testing so that is it that is the folder structure that angular cli will create for us so thanks for watching
in next upcoming session we will learn how we can create our first component and we will dig more or learn more about the components so thanks for watching see you in the next lecture stay tuned bye